Hey everyone. Today I'm diving deep into the rhythmic world of reggae music, exploring its vibrant origins and the trailblazers who set the stage for this iconic genre. So if you love the soothing strums of a guitar and the mellow beats that speak directly to the soul, stick around as we trace back to where it all began. Reggae music, now a cornerstone of Jamaican culture, didn't just appear out of thin air. It evolved from earlier genres like ska and rock steady in the late 1960s. These genres themselves were heavily influenced by American jazz and R&B, which reached Jamaican shores via radio stations from the US. But it was reggae that really captured the heartbeat of Jamaica, slowing things down and adding in distinctive rhythms that made it impossible not to bob your head or sway along. Now, who do we credit as the pioneers of reggae? While many artists contributed to its growth, one name stands out, Bob Marley. Yes, Bob Marley might not have been the very first reggae artist, but his influence in popularizing the genre globally is undeniable. However, it's crucial to also mention artists like Desmond Decker and Toots Hibbert, who were instrumental in shaping the sound that Marley would eventually bring to international stages. The first real instance where reggae music appeared was around 1968. A song titled Do the Reggae by Toots and the Maytals was one of the first to use the term reggae, describing the fresh, distinct sound that was sweeping across Jamaica. This was not just music, it was a movement. Reggae spoke about love, hardship and the fight against injustice, resonating deeply with listeners. When reggae first hit the airwaves, it was met with mixed reactions. In Jamaica, it was more than just music. It was a voice for the marginalized, a mirror to the struggles and hopes of its people. Internationally, it took a while before the genre was fully embraced. Initially seen as a novelty, its rich cultural and political undertones were often overlooked. But as artists like Bob Marley and Peter Tosh started touring and sharing reggae beyond Jamaica, perceptions changed. The world began to listen, not just to the music, but to the stories woven into each line. So there you have it. Reggae isn't just a genre. It's a narrative of resilience and identity championed by artists who dared to sing about the real issues. It's a story that continues to inspire and resonate, proving that good music, truly good music, never fades away. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you enjoyed this little journey into the heart of reggae music. Until next time, keep those positive vibrations going.